I'm like the motor oil geek. Notice I didn't say filter geek, which is why we're here in Minnesota to visit the experts at Donaldson to get you the facts about filters. Because the best oil is oil that is clean, cool, and dry, to keep it clean, we came here to Donaldson, the inventor of the air cleaner. That's crazy. So Gabe, tell us about Donaldson and why filtration is so important. We've had the same philosophy that we've had for 110 years now, which is we like to solve problems out there in the world. Our founder, Frank Donaldson, he made the first air filter for a tractor in 1915. Here's how he started. He made a wire cage mm -hmm. and just strung a eider down cloth over it. Okay. That was enough for old engines for the time, but a lot's changed in that over a hundred years. So every application has to have a, a lot of work done to get the right recipe for that media, for that application. What work needs to be done is where we start. What problem are we trying to solve? What is it we're trying to filter? We also have to worry about what size particles we're trying to grab. Dirty air filter is actually a good air filter. I know it's gonna kind of blow some people's minds, but bear with me for just a minute. If you leave your air filter in until you see restriction on these gauges, and that's gonna be on you know diesel engines, not your everyday driver, but if you leave it in until you see red on those gauges, you're getting longer life out of your filter and you're getting better protection because as that air filter loads with dust, it becomes more efficient. I want you to think about this. If an air filter is challenged with a kilogram of dust, and okay. that, means you, that means you take a, like a liter jar full of dust and you pour it into that air filter. Right. What you're gonna get coming out to the clean side mm -hmm. looks like this for different levels of efficiency. So what I'm seeing here is that's 99% efficient. Yes. Okay, Gabe, do you have any examples of taking all these best practices and putting them into reality and seeing what the results are? We worked with a coal mine. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, very harsh environment. Yep. Now, they had been in a practice of replacing their engine at 30,000 hours on their equipment. Okay, mm -hmm. so they're replacing these big MTU engines at 30,000 hours. Here's what happened. So we installed what we call a Donaldson Blue media, okay? Okay. So they went from a 99% filter to a 99.9, .9, okay? Okay, yeah. We know that's make a difference. Two simple things you can do. Good air filtration and learn how to read that restriction indicator. That's why we came here, to get you guys the expert advice so that you can get better life from your engine and not waste your money on things you shouldn't waste them on.